the new search console. What is index coverage? In this video session, we're going to learn what index coverage report actually shows us. Index coverage report shows us how Google is seeing a particular website and the URLs within it. Let's imagine this scenario. Let's say this is a URL. When Google looks at it, it sees things from the back end. And if there are directives for robots, meta tags, saying to Google it can index it or it can no index it, so no index directives can be served. I'll show you a couple of examples so you kind of understand what we're looking at. Typical WordPress site. And let's do this. Let's say how to category. I want Google to see this URL and the content within. So then I serve. I'll zoom in so you see. I serve this here. Saying to Google, you know what? When you come to this URL and see this, place the content in your index. So it can show when someone searches Google, it can show the content. But let's take a look at this URL, uncategorize. Okay, that's going to throw 4 on 4. Uncategorized part of WordPress, for example. Now let's look at the source code here. Press on Control U on our keyboard. And then let's take a look at meta tags. But this time it has no index. That means when Google sees this URL, and tries to access the content as an index it, place the content in its database, it's just not going to happen because it will obey this rule. So therefore, index coverage report is your website's friend. It shows you errors and warnings. It shows you which URLs are valid. It shows you what's excluded. So therefore, the first thing to do is always look at the errors and ask yourself, okay, why is Google having errors? Usually, it's the wrong sitemap setup. Because sitemaps you submit to Google. And when you do, you're telling Google, you know what, Google, here's the map of my website. Go and see all the URLs. Place them in your index. That's what XML sitemaps tell Google. It, it tells Google, here's the map of my website. If this is the map of a site, and yet, if Google can't see the site, if Google sees index or no index tags, it may have issues understanding what that landing page is all about. Thus, shows you reports accordingly. Okay, so that's what index coverage report is all about. Remember, when you search Google and when the result sets are shown, let's do this and let's do this search. Let's say cache colon and place a sample URL. And let's see what we're seeing here. We're seeing Google's version of a landing page. This is the live version right now. So this is how the page looks like today, right now. And yet, Google has seen this landing page about a week ago. And it looked like this. I may have updated the live website, but when someone searches Google, it's going to show Google's version, which is the cached version, because it has indexed it. That means it can now show people this URL. Makes sense? According to the keywords being searched. So therefore, index coverage is to do with indexation of a landing page. 
And always remember, robots or text directives. Let's take a look at one sample. This has nothing to do with controlling indexation of Google. Robots or text directive controls how Google crawls a website. So you can control crawling on Google through robots or text. But if you want to control indexation of Google, then you need to use index. You're telling Google to index whatever the content on a landing page. But if you serve, let's go look at uncategorized again. So you see, category uncategorized. As an example, if you don't want certain parts of your website to be not indexed by Google, then you have option to use meta tags within the head portion of HTML. You can serve no index tags through PHP as well, but that's rather advanced and I won't cover that in this tutorial. Okay, at the end of the day, the new Search Console index coverage report is much better in terms of what it's showing us compared to the old version of Search Console. Because right now at least you can see how Google is indexing your website and landing pages. At the end of the day, keep at it. If you are unsure about anything, read through the help section by pressing on the question mark. And then help section will further guide you as to how to you know, utilize the new Search Console Index Coverage Report. I thank you very much for learning with me. If you benefited from this video session, please do give it a like and share it. And I'll talk with you in the next video session.